I was reading these two books again today and rereading, well, I listened to Digital Minimalism, but reading this, I again discovered one of the lessons, which is it's tempting to crave the release of having nothing to do, but their rewards are muted as they tend to devolve towards low quality activities like mindless phone swiping or half-hearted binge watching. Investing energy into something hard but worthwhile almost always returns much richer rewards. That's from Digital Minimalism. So in short, try and schedule what to do during your leisure time instead of just having nothing planned and swiping through your phone. That was just one of the lessons that I learned. And in Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender, peace comes with total inner surrender to what is. Without a change of consciousness, there is no real reduction of stress. So you can get massages, you can do acupuncture, you can do all these helpful stuff like holistic healing or flotation tanks. But in the end, without a change of consciousness, the underlying root of stress is still there. So we need to change our consciousness in order to really reduce stress. And Dr. Hawkins talks about one core truth that what is held in mind tends to manifest including unconscious beliefs. That's pretty scary because let's say you can control your conscious thoughts. Those become manifest, but also your unconscious thoughts, which you have little to no control over, those also manifest. And I think in general, a lot of people, including myself, have a lot of negative unconscious beliefs. So I think there's a good chance that those will manifest, right? We must let go of negative thoughts and belief systems and shed the stress of negative emotions that give them energy. Easier said than done. And a fun fact, according to Sir John Eccles, a Nobel laureate, after a lifetime of study, he said, it became apparent that the brain is not the origin of the mind. The mind controls the brain, which acts as a receiving station like a radio, with thoughts being similar to radio waves and the brain being similar to a receiver. The brain is like a receiving set. It receives thought forms and then translates them into neuronal functioning and memory storage. What is held in mind has the power to alter brain activity and neuroanatomy. This is exactly the same thing I heard in Your Wish is Your Command by Kevin Trudeau. He said, the brain is like a radio. It receives, it's a receiver and transmitter of waves. And it's funny that uh, David Hawkins is saying the exact same thing. People with completely different backgrounds. So that was interesting. I woke up at 5.30, got about five hours of sleep, so I'm pretty tired. I did my stream of consciousness writing as soon as I woke up, mostly about working out. And I also wrote down what am I thankful for, one of which is that I made a new friend, Eric. I guess writing down what you're thankful for is kind of programming your brain to look and be more happy. Look at things you have instead of what you don't have. So in letting go, David Hawkins talks about the mechanism of it, but it's all to do with the mind. So it's kind of, it feels kind of vague, even if the instructions are very specific. When I think of letting go, I think of letting go of negative emotions. And he says to focus on the feeling, not the thoughts, and just let it be without any resistance. And it's just so difficult to do. Also, while I'm doing it, I'm thinking, am I doing it right? It just feels very vague. Anyways, I'm glad I got a lot of reading done today. Better than binging YouTube for sure. Eric, you inspired me to get back on track for working out. It is 8 a.m. right now, the sun is rising. Let's get it done nice and early and out of the way. See that tail? Look who came. He always has to check me out when I'm working out. Tigger. That's 30 curls at 25 pounds and 41 super arm lateral raises at 9 pounds. It took me about 18 or 19 minutes. I got it done. First thing in the morning, baby. Mochi has had diarrhea two nights in a row. Lots of diarrhea, so not gonna give her food for a while. Poor Mochi. She likes my stinky shoes. 1% better every day, baby.